Hello my dear students. Welcome back to the video lesson. I am Shweta Gupta, your math teacher. And today I am going to do the revision of exercises 16C and D of lesson number 16. The topic of these exercises are triangles and quadrilaterals. So let's get started. So children, let us recall what we have learned about triangles. A triangle is a closed figure or shape formed by three line segments. For example, in this figure, we have a triangle ABC. And in this triangle, we have three sides means the triangle ABC has three sides, side AB, side BC and CA. It has got three angles, angle ABC, angle BCA and angle CAB. Or simply angle B, angle C and angle A. Triangle ABC has three vertices, which is the plural for vertex. That is vertex A, vertex B and vertex C. The symbol for triangle is this. The triangle ABC can also be called as triangle BCA or triangle CAB or triangle BAC or triangle ACB or CBA. Now children, let us recall what do we understand by quadrilateral? Well, a quadrilateral is a closed figure made by four line segments, right? It has four sides, four vertices, four angles and two diagonals. A quadrilateral is named by its vertices which is written in order. The line segments joining the opposite vertices of the quadrilateral are called diagonals. Now children, let us revise some of the questions from exercise 16C and D. So the first question is, write scalene triangle, equilateral triangle or isosceles triangle. So the first figure can you see the first figure? In this figure, we have triangle ABC. Now, this triangle is having two sides equal to 6 cm and one side equal to 4 cm. So, such a triangle in which two sides are equal, that triangle is called an isosceles triangle. Now, let's come to the next figure. So children, in this triangle, we can see that all the angles are equal. So a triangle in which all the angles are equal to 60 degree, that triangle is a triangle in which all the three sides are equal. That is, it is an equilateral triangle. Now let's come to the third figure. In this figure, children, we have triangle R, R, S, T. And in this triangle, all the three sides of the triangle are having different length. One is having 7 cm. This other one is having the length of 5 cm. And the third one is having the length of 6 cm. So such a triangle in which all the three sides are, are no two sides are equal. That triangle is called a scalene triangle. Now let's come to the next question. So in this question, you have to write whether the triangle is acute angle triangle, obtuse angle triangle or right angle triangle. So the first figure, let's see the first figure. Here in this triangle ABC, one angle is 50 degree, the second angle is 70 degree and the third angle is 
60 degree. So children, in this triangle, all the three angles are less than 90 degree. That is, all the three angles are acute angle. Therefore, this triangle is an acute angle triangle. Now, let's come to the second figure. In this figure, we have a triangle named HIJ. And in this triangle, two angles are acute angle, 30 degree and 60 degree each. And one angle is equal to 90 degree. So, a triangle in which one angle is equal to 90 degree, that triangle is called right angle triangle. Now let's come to the third figure. In this figure, two angles are equal to 27 degree and 33 degree each and one of the angle is equal to 120 degree. So children, such a triangle in which two angles are acute angle but one angle is an obtuse angle, that triangle is called an obtuse angle triangle. Now let's come to the next question. Each angle of the given quadrilaterals is a right angle. So pick the rectangles and square. Means we have to find out which of the quadrilateral is a rectangle and which one is a square. So now children, let's see. In the first figure children, we see a quadrilateral in which the two opposite sides are equal. Two sides are equal to 5 cm and two other opposite sides are equal to 4 cm. So, such a quadrilateral in which two opposite sides are equal, that quadrilateral is called a rectangle. So, it is a rectangle. Now, in the second figure, we have a special type of rectangle in which all the four sides are equal. So, such a quadrilateral is called a square. Now children, let's see the third figure. So in the third figure again, we have a special type of rectangle in which all the four sides are equal. That is, all the four sides are equal to 3 cm. Therefore, this is also, this figure or this quadrilateral is also a square. Now, let's see the fourth one, the D1. So, in the figure D, you can see that the two opposite sides are equal, right? The two opposite sides of the quadrilateral are equal. The One of the two sides are equal to 4 cm and the other two sides are equal to 2 cm. So, this is a rectangle. So, now children, let's Let's come to the next question. Now the next question is fill in the blanks which are related to the triangles and quadrilaterals. So the first question is the three sides of triangle ABC are 4.5 cm each in length. So the triangle is dash. Children we know if all the three sides of a triangle are equal, the triangle is in equilateral triangle. So, what we will write in the blank? Well, we will write equilateral. Now, let us come to the second part. A triangle is called a dash triangle if no two sides of it are equal. Well, such a triangle in which no two sides are equal means all the three sides are different. That triangle is called a scaling triangle. Now let's come to the third one. Each angle of a rectangle measures, well we all know that each angle of a rectangle measures 90 degree. So the answer is 90 degree. Let's come to the fourth one. If the three sides of a triangle are equal, then each of its angle is equal to, well each of its angle is equal to 60 degree. Now let's come to the fifth one. A dash is a special rectangle in which all the sides are equal. Well, such rectangle is called 
a square. So this way children we have come to the end of this revision video lesson. I hope you have very well understood all the questions that we have discussed in this video lesson related to triangles and quadrilaterals. Thank you my dear students. Keep watching, keep learning.